So then you start getting better too. And you might be thinking, oh, this dude's crazy. And if I am, they don't speak the same language. And that's okay. Some guys don't believe it. Hard work's really good. So now give your stance. I'm in mine. I'm on a backhand post. You know the biggest thing I have to work on our guys with? is the danger distance. I'm fine. I'm fine. You guys are really good. In space, you know how to defend. Hands on them, you know how to defend. But the transition from wrestling stance to your hand on the guy is danger. You gotta be really, really focused on how you do it. So we're like, we got a few different ones. I'm gonna show you like the basic one, it's called a welded drill. There was a guy, I think it was like 90, 190 pounds. Back when that was a weight, his last name was Weldon. Bobby Weldon, I think was his name. Barry. Barry Weldon, thank you, Zip. This is how he put his hands on the guy. Stance, backhand post. The post, the contact, really doesn't matter. This is my distance judge. This lets me know exactly how far away Jackson is. If my hand's not on him, I have to guess. I have to lunge. Now I know. I'm going to close the gap, put it in my forehead, right on my knuckles. Collar tie. I literally want you to do this, so humor me. Elbow yourself in the knee, hit him in the neck with your forearm. That's how I'm getting my collar tie on. My free hand goes to the wrist, and then I'm going to loop that back foot. You can do it two or three times, it doesn't matter. Stance, backhand post, close the gap. Stance, backhand post, close the gap. This guy, don't be a dummy, move around a little bit. Backhand post, close the gap. I'm wrestling a little bit, backhand post, close the gap. Elbow on, back foot loop. Any questions? Let's go!